and let's wait for Twitch. And we are live. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Hollow Knight. Today we are going to be testing the new tool that we got, the Dream Nail. We are also going to be exploring areas to find uh, those flowers that we are supposed to pick up a hundred of. So yeah, without further ado, let us continue. Okay, do I need to switch English? Yep. Much better. Yep. Need to get used to it again. Okay, so... First things first, I need to look at the map. Hmm. Okay, so we know where the bosses are now. That's probably not the entire truth. Honestly, I think there's like hidden things in this game. Okay. Hmm. Is there the flower? Is, is there like the flower anywhere? At hand. Yeah, the flower is over there. Where the Mantis village is. So we should definitely go there. And there's also a warrior's grave. No idea what to do. Oh, we are probably supposed to hit the warrior's grave with... Uh, with the thing. With the nail. Hmm. But yeah, we are gonna go over here. We are gonna deal with the flower here. And then... I think that's the only flower that we know about right now. I will also check out the warrior's grave there. And then... I will go to the res resting grounds and we will continue from there. So yeah, that is what we shall do. Let's just walk. There's no need to hurry. This game is slow enough. I'm slowly starting to kind of enjoy the game. In station. I kind of understand that you have to take this game very slowly. This game seems like it's not exactly like Castlevania or... Jesus. That was a weird noise. My neighbors are being very loud again. Okay. Which path? We need to go to the right, then down, right, and down. Okay. But yeah, now we have more means of, you know, getting around, really. Kinda like this. You know, we can have wall jump. Gonna make the game much easier. Okay, so you cannot hit those with the nail. You know, with the dream nail, not with the normal nail. Okay. Whoosh. Do you actually want to fall here? Actually, yeah, we want it. Okay, where should we go? Further down? I just need to, need to get used to the controls again. Which is funny because, you know, it was yesterday when I played this. Okay. Let's continue for going. And the wall, the wall jumping is like... It's kinda... I mean, it is still less annoying than a Metroid one. Like, Metroid wall jumping is absolutely atrocious. But you know, like, we did, you know, the Metroid wall jumping so much that we are kinda used to it now. Oh, creature. 
to go down. Oh no. Not you. No, you don't get to kill me. Okay. The flower is almost here. Oh, that was a mistake. But it's okay, we can heal up. Oh, I should be hitting these. Okay, so the dream nail has like no range. Okay. So it tells me that we are actually probably gonna be getting like upgrades for the dream nail, not for the main. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Also, kind of wanna hit you. Scared. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this game is gonna this game is gonna make me hate killing these things. Hey Phantom, I see you have finally made it. Anyway. Okay. Man, the wall jumping is so important. I like I cannot actually believe the game does not give you the wall jumping by default. Like, the game would be so much better at the beginning, you know, in the first two hours of the game. If you had all of these movement options from the beginning. Because there is a reason why you have most of this um, in Metroid from the very beginning. Wait, what? What the heck? Proud warriors. Honor bound. Of thoughts, but they're zombies basically. Okay, so we have done this. Hmm, we don't need to go there. Okay, so now we kind of want to go to the grave and check that out. Three different things they think. Oh shit, I should have hit the thing more times. Didn't. See, now I'm excited, you know, now I care about the story. Oh, right in, into it. I mean, if nothing else, at least it fucking died. I hate those things so much. Hello? Oh, hey, actually. Safe. Dark. Okay. It's really dangerous to hit these. Eat when. Oh fuck. Come on, I just wanna read your mind, goddammit. Pain. Oh. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's just kill them. They're obviously in pain, so let's help them. Interesting thoughts. Yeah, we have been reading uh, NPC's uh, mind. Quite a lot last stream. Okay. Okay. By the way, how do I get to the city? Light. The light. I hate this enemy so much. I hate all the enemies that basically explode. Oi! Hey. One more. Good. Okay. Ah. I swear to god, this has not been made for keyboard because, you know, it was not. Creature. Oh, fuck's sake. Wait, I can use it on corpses. Oh my god, I can! Protect. 
protect. Oh my god, we can use it on corpses. Holy shit. Now that is something I did not expect. See, I wish this was part of the game, you know, the entire time. It would have made this game so much better. You know, like a sense of exploration that actually matters. Actually, it matters little, but whatever. It matters to me because I love lore. It's kind of like in Dark Souls, you know, like uh, reading. You know, like in Dark Souls, you can like read descriptions of things and it usually gives you lore. And I think I'm like one of the only people who actually read all of that shit. Shit, I went too far. It's in... It's on the bottom, actually. Whoosh! Get out of my way, I have movement. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, child, why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us, they were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. Wait, challenge the warrior dream? Oh shit! Oh, Nelly. Oh, shit. Oh, shizer. Oh my god, you have like no time to react. You have no time to react at all. Jesus. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Now this is exciting. I need to focus, I'm sorry, I cannot read right now! Fuck. Fuck. Oh no! Fuck. Holy shit, this is hard. Oh no! I was nowhere near that game. Holy shit. Holy shit, the game just raped me. Holy shit. I am coming for you, bitch. Holy shit, what, what a jump in difficulty. This game has never heard of curves. Holy shit, okay, I need to calm the fuck down. But seriously, has this has have these developers ever heard of like difficulty curves? Like you are supposed to start kinda easy and then you know slowly increase the difficulty. That is a major jump in difficulty. Holy shit. I mean this is what you face in this area. And like you have like no upgrades. Like you know, like okay, we have like a lot of like motion like movement upgrades. But they are not exactly useful in that fight. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Seriously, this game and balancing. Game making 101.
Well, I mean, that's nice and all, but you know, like the game... To this day, I have not been able to upgrade my HP or my damage. Like, I do not actually even care about the Dream Nail, because like it, it's not like it does damage. Okay. Let's go up. What are you? Oh no, not you. I really don't wanna fuck with you. Like... It just feels like I'm doing doing no damage. Like you do so little damage in this game. <laughs> like I honestly think that I've been doing more damage in fucking Castlevania Symphony of the Night at the very beginning of the game. But it's kind of hard to judge because you know both games are so light. <sighs> And now my timing was literally like half a second off. Yo. Good. Yeah. Actually? Did I lose my thing? Yeah. Whatever. I'll make more. They will give me more Geo. Someone comes by. They have to give me that Geo. If you have enough geo, you become a king. I get enough geo, I will become a king. Okay. So this guy believes in capitalism, basically. <laughs> so we need to go pick up our corpse. Man, that fight. Oh, we can actually go there. So how do I get to the city? The bridge that wasn't there when you said you needed to fly too fast. What? Dude, if, if you are like talking about something that happened like a month ago, then I have no idea what you are talking about. Okay. Oh. Oh, not you. Anyone but you. Seriously. I hate you. Asshole. Don't make it get noises. But you are an asshole. Piece of shit cunt. Ugh. This, these, most of the enemies in this game just piss me off so much. Because like, god fucking damn it. <laughs> what asshole developer does this? You know, you know, there is a reason why in Metroid, you know, they have like... You know, lava and such that does not insta-kill you, it just keeps doing damage to you, you know, like, that's much better than, you know, getting fucking insta-killed. Like, leave that to fucking Mega Man, not to this. Even in Mega Man, it's like barely a okay thing. Uh, so much annoyance in this game. Like, every single millisecond, I, you know, start to think that this game is gonna be awesome. It just proves to me that, it, you know, the developers had no fucking idea how to make a game. Uh, now we need to go back to that motherfucker. With less HP, by the way, because we cannot heal as much. I hate this game sometimes. And yes, the delay on the controls is still there, by the way, because I'm using keyboard. Because the developers have no idea how to make controls for keyboard. Don't kill me. Dude, can you like... Oh shit, it shot me! Okay... I do not even know what you are talking about, Phantom. Like, I literally do not know. Okay... Let's try this motherfucker again, I guess. Ah. You are just too slow in this game. Ah. It always aims on you.
God fucking damn it. Yeah, we are dead. Uh. See, this game is so flashy that it's actually hard to see anything that's happening. Again, the reason why you can dodge shit in Super Metroid or Castlevania is because, okay, th th those games, I'm not gonna say they look ugly. They don't. But uh, there is a very important distinction between what hurts you and what's background and such. Because this game is so flashy and so artistic, it actually ruins the ability to dodge shit. You know, just boot up Cave Story. Uh, especially the old one, not the remaster because that they kind of fucked it. But boot up case story. That game is done. Okay, the game is pixelated and it's not exactly super beautiful. But you can always tell what's a bullet. You know, when things are about to hit you, where you are. You cannot do that in this game because everything is too fucking flashy. It's like Mike Michael fucking Bay made this game. Everything explodes, everything is flashy. It's like fucking Call of Duty. Like, like, I cannot actually say that that was my fault. I just died because the game is just way too fucking bright. And it's not the brightness, it's honestly just, there's just too many flashy colors. And me not be, not having enough HP to tank because, you know, this game, you know, just hates its player. Except not. I know it doesn't. I tried it many times. Oh, not this shit again. Seriously, these explosion enemies, I swear to god. Uh, I sadly cannot fight this guy because he's impossible. Like, I, I do not have the weird alien vision that the developers thought that the humans would have, so... Yeah, fuck that. Okay, so... What do we need to do? Kinda sucks that I still have no idea where to go. Because the game... Again, you know, like, you have the map. But the map has absolutely no important information on it. Because that's how you would make a map, right? So you would make a map that has nothing important on it. Hello. Hello. It's easier to not fight them. It's easier to just get by. Okay. So there is this area where I've not been. Oh, wait. I cannot go here. Yeah, because that's literally impossible. Can I break it? No. Can I maybe dream it? No. Can I even dream it? Literally tried every option. Hmm. Okay, let's see on the map. Uh, oh my god, the stag is so far away on each side. Again, there was like this really useful item in Dark Souls that let you teleport back home, you know, to Filing Shrine. I think it was called like a Homeward Bone or something, if I remember correctly. It has been a while since I played Dark Souls. And that was like the most useful item in the game. Because, you know, at some point Dark Souls is literally just backtracking the game. And again, you know, like in Dark Souls, that's okay, because Dark Souls, you know, properly shite, properly uh, balance its, its gameplay around that idea. Man, I sure could have known that. How was I supposed to know that the enemy is gonna be there, it's gonna spew acid or whatever on me? Eh. It's easy to make, you know, ambushes that the player cannot see. I can probably, you know, make a game of ambushes. I mean, there is a game like that, it's called I Wanna Be The Guy. I actually did a video on that, by the way. Horrible game. Also, uh, fun fact, I Wanna Be The Guy actually got content ID'd by Nintendo. Because of course it got. Even though they did not make the game. 
He did make the music though. Need money. Everything's so expensive in this game. Okay. We are almost there. Dude, that's like... Okay, in Dark Souls you get a homeworld bone immediately after the tutorial. And then you can buy them for like... I feel like 3000 souls, which is like nothing. You get that like in 5-10 minutes. Yeah, in Dark Souls basically 3000 souls is absolutely fucking nothing. You get that immediately. Man, that... Playing this game really makes me... Fuck. Uh, playing this game really makes me wanna play Dark Souls, because Dark Souls is kinda like this. Except, you know, much better. It's just funny because you can now buy Dark Souls for, the, for probably less than this game. <laughs> you still have the same weapon, you know, like... Again, I, I s I'm sorry that I keep harping on this, but like... In any... Metroidvania game, by now, you would have so many weapons, it's actually kinda insane. Again, you would finish Met uh, Super Metroid by now, like two, maybe three times, and you would like have all the items in the game, if you know where to find them, like, because there's a lot of secret ones, but, like, you would basically be able to like gather like, I dare to say like 50, maybe 60% of all items. Okay. Wait, why can I not? Okay, that was weird. I could not dream. Oh, you asshole! You know what? No. Oh my god! Okay, now I'm murdering you. I didn't want to murder you, but you you decided. You have decided, sir. Okay, so we have a challenge here. Fuck! I so saw myself dead, by the way. Go! Oh, Jesus! Wait, but there is... Okay, there is like small room. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. This is my, like, my worst nightmare, by the way. This is literally... Uh, like, this is like enclosed spaces and bugs. Okay. I have no idea what these even mean, by the way. I'm just gathering these because, you know, sometimes I find them in, like, these fun, challenging rooms. See, the, the, these things, you know, these things are fun, you know. Why are these not, like, the main thing of the game? I like those, you know, those are fun. Those are always fun, even when they are made to fucking hurt you. Actually... Light. Danger. Okay. Oh, timing on this is... Kill. Hurt. Pain. Okay. Yep. Uh, need to get to the stack. We're almost there. Uh, it's not underwater. Uh, no, it's not underwater. Water literally murders you in this game because all the water in this game is poison. Or acid. Basically something that like murders you to the touch. How's gonna bust those shots are hidden like that? Yeah, like I like that, you know, that it really reminds me of Super Metroid. You know, like those still like challenge rooms. But like there's not enough of those. At least I don't have access to those yet. Okay, more bugs. Oh wait, we actually get there from the other side. Push. Push. So yeah, we need to go to the right now. 
Yeah, but like, I don't know, like, I've been playing this game for like, uh, I don't know, uh, what episode is this? Six? Basically, the number of episodes times two, and that's basically how many hours I've played. And I've only found three pieces of the mask. Even more HP? Good! God damn it. All the flying enemies in this game are the most annoying shit ever because you don't have range weapon, right? Anyway. Worth it. It's scared. I'm scared as well. Let's be scared in death. Okay. Let's heal up. Okay. Yep, that's the stack. Well, yeah, but like... You know... I do not get those. Can I can I annoy him? Can I anger you? Nope. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go to the resting grounds because that is honestly the only area that we have not been in, you know, to yet. Because we are kind of running out of options. Like we got wall jumping, but it honestly only allowed us like two areas, and that's it. Okay, let us go. I actually forgot what kind of enemies are in here. Oh, there are no enemies here. Let's just jump down. Hey. Can I open this? Do I have to hit it? No. Maybe from the other side? I cannot dream down, sadly. Well, I have no idea what to do with this. For some reason, like, this one can be moved. Kinda. Maybe just the... Somehow I have to hit the hit like, No. Tried everything. I almost don't wanna talk. Like, this area has probably the best music of the game so far. Which is a pretty big thing to say, because usually this game has pretty good music. Just look at how beautiful this game is. Protect the vessel, the dreamers are lays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we we are gonna be Yeah, we are gonna be killing these. We're gonna be murdering the shit out of them. This looks like a graveyard. It reminds me of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Give me a second. Oh, one of the guys, uh, we cannot re kill him. I'm pretty sure we cannot kill these. Oh shit, we literally cannot do anything here. Yeah, but like we literally cannot do anything here. That kind of sucks. And this needs some kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. I can just wall jump on this shit. Oh, almost. Yeah, so this area is basically pointless. It kind of sucks. Like, like, look at this area. This area is, like, beautiful. It's, like, really creepy and everything, but, like... It's pointless. Like, you can say whatever you want about the volley of giants in uh, Dark Souls, but at least it wasn't pointless. Can You you, you can say whatever you want about Silithus in World of Warcraft, but at least it wasn't pointless. I swear to God, if he kills me, I will blame you. Stop there, those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed, better to rest here until the time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom, I thought that st strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams, I, could, I would cut that plague with my nail and then turn my weapon upon the king. When I awoke in this sacred place, I began to understand those who hope are already doomed. Do you still hope, wanderer? Will you flee? 
Or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? I shall. Whoa! Holy shit! It's fucking Sakuya from fucking Toho! Holy shit! Yeah, uh, oh Jesus, he, he ignores walls, he ignores walls. He does not give a single fuck about walls, baby. Walls are not something that bothers him at all. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, hey, you know, this one is the easiest to kill, you know? This one is even worse than the last one. The last one you can just dodge. Jesus. Stop. Using your Japanese mumbo jumbo. I cannot I, I'm not even I'm not even speedy enough to fucking hit him. Oh hey, you know, this one is the easiest, you know. No, that one the, the other one is easier than this. Because you at least have time to heal. Okay. Okay. Okay, he basically throws the nails. Just keep on moving. It's like the gaping dragon from Dark Souls. You just need to keep moving and everything's gonna be okay. Oh my god. You never have time to attack him though. And you don't have the range, you need to jump. But you cannot slide and jump at the same time because animations are too long. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I can actually make it so that he cannot hit me. But I cannot hit him. We have we have we have managed to achieve ultimate equilibrium of never hitting each other. Except fuck he can, because you know he's fucking He's a fucking ninja. Dude, seriously, chill the fuck down, man. Holy mother of Jesus. Jesus. Okay, that's one hit. <laughs> we are gonna be here for only like million years now. I would just like to remind everyone, there is a major delay on controls. So I actually have to... I have to presume that he's gonna attack me. If you see me dodge something, you know, just by the nick of the hair, that's actually because I, I have some kind of weird future powers. And I'm actually <laughs> presuming that he's gonna throw a nail at me. If you have played Senua, or... Like, if you have played Senua, uh, the controls are very similar, like... If you played, if you have played Senua on... Uh, uh, on keyboard. I actually talked to a couple people and they have said that they have a very similar problem with the keyboard controls in this game. It's okay, five million years and he's gonna be dead. That is if he does not have like a pissed boss fight mode. Okay, okay. Okay. I think he's getting... I think he's getting actually faster. God damn it! Just die, dude. It's not worth it, man. It's like not worth it, man. Just, just allow me to win, man. Oh no! Oh no! He has more. He has more blades. He has more blades. He has more blades. No, that's not okay. He has PC boss fight mode. He's already hard enough. This is so unfair. I have only one blade. He is four. He literally is four times stronger than me. Not to mention he's already taken so much damage compared to me. Uh. Fucking Toho skills this. 
him and Sakura. There, there has to be like OTP shipping of him and Sakura from Toho. I swear to God. Okay. How many references to people using like a lot of blades I can make before he kills me and or I kill him? Fuck right into it. That was a mistake. That was a mistake on my part. Heal. Your ears are better than your eyes in this game. You have to listen to what what, what the enemy is doing. It's kind of like uh, playing Toho 7. You know, uh, Perfect Chili Blossom, I believe, is, is the name. You know, the one with uh, Yukari and Yomu. Where there's the fight with the Prism, uh, the Prism River sisters. You know, like, you can actually close your eyes and you can finish the entire boss fight. Because the entire boss fight is actually set to music. So it's very similar to that. Five million years later. It's okay, it's okay. It's... Haha, <laughs> you got dragged, bitch. I only needed to read how you fight. Get wrecked. I can see now. Those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. I mean, that's a Aho monarchy should work. Do not call me a traitor. Simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be waiting. And now I will siphon your soul, bitch. Give me a second. I need to. I need to do, take a drink of my beer. Oh fuck! That was awesome. Okay, now I can read the chat. Give me a second. Uh, is it target you? But what? Actually, he did. Uh, most dream warriors have at least. Is remember how many Can I like just read this? Those are those who turn again. Yeah. Oh hey, I, that means I can go back to the chick. I have the hundred fingies now. I'm coming for you three, by the way. I will kill you all. Like I kind of, I'm kind of imagining that this entire game is about you know like a child who is on a really murderous killing spree, you know, just killing everyone. Okay. I do not want to talk because this section actually has really good music. Oh, I wanted to hit this one. Dead remembered, penitent moth, dreams re revered. Okay. Poco cues as well. Pretty much all bosses. Actually, uh, the early bosses do not. You can trust me on that. But, you know, like... Basically, the main problem with the bosses so far is that they make the cues, you know, they make the vocal cues, but usually uh, they have, like, a set of abilities that they can use. And, you know, like, let's say in uh, Metroid. Okay, better. Uh, in Symphony of the Night, you know, if you look at the bosses, uh, they usually, you know, like telegraph uh, what ability they are about to use so that you can, you know, prepare for it. Usually you don't have much time, but, you know, you have some time. In this game, they make the same sound cue. And they make the same animation. And then they do a random attack, basically. So you cannot actually prepare for it. And they are not following a pattern. So you kind of have to guess and hope for the best in this game, which kind of sucks. Again, you know, this is coming from a person who has finished majority of the of the Metroid games and most of the Castlevania games. So yeah, let's go to this. 
Hello. Ah, Wilder, you have returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Hmm, I already collected a hundred essence. Quick work. Things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers try to bury you in that old dream. Perhaps you frightened them. Or perhaps, being prisoners themselves, they desired your company. In any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement. Return, and you have collected 200 S. Wait. She gave me the useless shit. Oh, you bitch. She gave me the useless shit. I, I was like, oh my god, she's gonna give me like a new ability or something. No, she gave me these useless shits that do not mean anything. Yeah, it says, you know, this item now holds a little value except for those dedicated to Kingdom's history. Game, that's mean. <laughs> that was a really hard fight. And this is what I'm talking about. Like other games, you know, they would like, you know, they would be like, Wow, dude, you really managed to kill this, man. You're like, you are awesome, man. But not this game, you know, this game is like, you know, like, wow, you killed it. Now go, f you know, suck somewhere, somewhere else. Now, there is a very interesting thing that happened on the map. And I don't know whether I've noticed that. I'm actually gonna go there. There's a way down. Yeah, th there should be a way down here. Yeah, uh, like you... It kinda sucks. So yeah, this stream, we have literally not achieved anything. <laughs> oh, that pisses me off so much about this game. Like, you can spend two hours playing this game and not achieve shit. I have not achieved anything in two fucking hours. You can finish, like, you can finish much better games in two fucking hours. I can finish fucking Symphony of the Night, okay, I cannot finish Symphony of the Night in two hours, but... Okay, I can finish Symphony of the Night in, like, uh, I don't know, four, five hours? Well, I am out of ideas now. Congo Bay is the place. Wait, but I was there. What the fuck? Yeah, I was in the big room. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm pretty sure I was there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was there. Are you sure you are talking about the same area? I mean, I mean, I, okay, I'm looking at this and I have no idea where to go. I don't want to go south because the game literally told me do not go south until you upgrade your weapons. Oh, weapon, because, you know, God forbid you will get more than one weapon in this game. We have done everything here. We cannot go up here uh, because you cannot, basically. You cannot go down there because there's like some kind of thing there. Uh, over here, it leads to the mines. Uh, we can get to the mines, yes. But in the mines, we don't have a map, so we are, we basically cannot really make any progress there. Okay, so... What else can we do? We're gonna go uh, in this, like, middle area here where, the, like, the elevator is. Uh, because there's a door there. We cannot do anything about the door. You gotta go over here because there's like poison that does not allow us to continue. I don't remember why, but we could not go down here. We could not. Do, we could not go to the left there. I don't remember why. Ah. I don't actually remember why we could not go to the left there. I will probably have to check it out later. I have no idea. You could attempt the dream guy, the warrior guy kill again. But I don't think I, I have the equipment. It kind of shows that this entire area is like too difficult for us. Well, 
Well, I cannot do that. I I tried I tried to you know like do something there and I could not. Like you know, it would be easier if I had the map, but you know the game does not give you a map, and the guy was nowhere to be found. Like I explored as much as I could. Hmm. Like I'm looking at this map, and like there's a lot of like areas where, like you know, I see that over there we we are missing things. I think there's a door there we need to open. The only thing that comes to my mind is this area here. And like this one. But I, be, uh, I remember being there and being angry for something. Ugh, there's so much shit that you need to remember in this game. I guess I could go to the mine again and be lost. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, let's go to the mine again. Not happy about it, by the way, because, like, we don't have the map. So, we need to go to the Forgotten Crossroads. Are you sure? Like, you did bullshit me once already, man. Like, this is, like, the last chance I'm giving you. Uh, after this, I do not trust you a word. Uh. Poor guy. They're just using him to travel around. Okay. Let's save. Okay, so we need to basically just fall down. A lot. No. leave gtfo i kind of wanna pain hungry hungry kill hurt huh it's about the, you know, the intelligence of the developers of this game. Oh. And I mean the developers, not the artists. The artists did an excellent job with this game. Like both the musicians and then the, you know, like the artist department. Oh shit. Gonna do anything with that. Okay, let's go south. It's like 40 second delay, then just refresh. Here. I've never been here. Hello? This game is sensitive beyond fucking belief. Actually, I have a better way. Yeah, fuck you. Wait. But what? what? But me. Bug. Bug, can you please like let me ride you or something, man? That that would be really helpful, like good. I mean, I mean, look, that doesn't lead anywhere. Surely you see this, right? Seriously? Pain. Okay. Save. In the dark. Oh, for fuck's sake. Light. Danger. Okay. okay so we cannot progress here. At least I have no idea where. Anyway, I'm gonna use you again, sir. There seems to be like an area here. So we cannot do anything in here. Look at the map. Yeah, let's go to the right. Oh. From 
moss and leaf our life is a drone. What while it grows upon the power we shall never build. Okay. Again, you know, like I'm looking at this game and it's really beautiful, you know, but that's not everything a game needs. Okay, so I actually I'm back now having refreshed. It means that progress like a falling crystal peak. Dude, like that's not helping at all. I'm sorry, like I know you think you are you are helping, but you are not. You are basically just saying cryptic bullshit next to cryptic bullshit. This game is already cryptic enough. Like at this point, I'm beyond caring about spoilers. Fuck you. Oops. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Going to the right. The dash actually kills you in this game more than anything, just saying. How how did I not get damaged there? What the fuck? I need to heal up. I know it's weird to complain about it. Okay, activate. Oh, of course, plant is not gonna have feelings. I'm killing these plants because they actually give you a lot of geo. Every I hate this. I hate literally every enemy in this game. I have never played a game with more annoying enemies than this game. Like, I cannot actually believe that the developers have managed to create an army of annoying enemies. Like, how the fuck did they do that? Wait, map updated? Oh yeah, because I progressed slightly to the left. Yeah, okay. Wait, did I just get a dream? What the fuck, I just got a dream for no reason? Oh my god, you can actually grind dreams in this game? No way. Something that is not anti-consumer in this game? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really salty when it comes to this game. It was like, there's so much wasted potential with this game. Oh my god, they're actually fixing the game. Okay. I mean, you already have to grind enemies for the Geo. You might as well get the essence from them anyway. You're like some kind of vampire. Okay. I don't remember this area at all, by the way. Birds. Ah! Angry noises. Oh, wait. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I do. I'm not gonna fuck with that. That is not an okay area. Oh my fucking god! No, that is mean. What's there? There's just a money thing that you know I I can get from killing enemies. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this. You have to like uh, attack down. Oh, that's good. We actually have an extra range on the thing. <laughs> right after I said that. Oh no, I forgot there was a delay on this shit. Okay. Let's presume attack before before it's needed because you know there's a delay. Anything in here? Non sherry, none. It feels like I've been here or wait yeah, I actually was. I played Zelda, it's okay. I know I, I know this. I played Zelda. To be honest, who did not? Like at this point, is there actually a human being who has not played the Zelda game? Oh my god, are we gonna get an upgrade? No way. Not in this game. What the fuck is this? No! That is mean, I was supposed to get the HP. <laughs> no, that's that's not okay. That's mean. That's really not okay. I was supposed to get HP. Come on, game. Can I actually get back? Oh no, I just fucked myself. I just fucked myself. I fucked myself and I did not even realize it. Oh no, oh no, if you fuck up that. <laughs> okay, again, it would not be that much of a big deal if there was not a delay on fucking interface. The delay is the murder, not lack of skill. Like, you know, it's literally wall jumping. It's like the simplest shit ever. Expect. The one saw lens, a pale being late. Place claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be very friendly to that place. That is mean, by the way. I'm trying to like do some like Metroid shit here. No, tr I'm I'm trying to s to break the game a little, because. <laughs> <laughs> It's not okay. That's not okay, game. By the way, if you have not played Zelda, you totally should, man. Like, these days you can, like, very easily play it on an emulator. Well, that was a shit fest. Oh no. How long until I fuck up? And I die to it. Okay. Nothing in here. Might as well go for return. I love how this creature does not give a single fuck that someone is attacking its back. Creature is like, eh, I don't care. It's just an another day. So yeah, uh, we have been here, and we have made literally zero progress. Mm. So yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I guess I could go visit the evil spooky monster guy. But at this point I'm kind of, you know, like... I'm out of options, really. And again, you know, the developers literally hated the idea of their players finishing the game. So, you know, they do not give you a fucking pin. You know, like some kind of thing that will make a nice noise, you know, like... Prum, 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 prum. 
No kind of like in Metroid. And yes, I keep saying Metroid. Every Metroid. Even Metroid 2 on fucking Game Boy is better than this. Because, you know, Metroid never fucked up the most important part of, you know, game being a game. And that is, you know, for it to be fucking fun. This game is not fun. This game has, like, snippets of fun. You know, like, every now and then it does something that, you know, I would say is fun. But it's not worth the money. Fuck your gods. What was here again? Seriously? I actually forgot what was here. Death. We're gonna hit these. Oh my god. Why is there no music? Am I? Oh. <gasps> uh. Yeah. Let's not fight him. Let's agree to disagree and let's not fight him. There's an area here. Hallelujah, yes! Please tell me, yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! More HP! I cannot believe this shit. <laughs> Fuck your demon... Demon-like... Statues. In Cthulhu. Fucking hell, we finally got an upgrade after like, I don't know, a million years. It's kinda creepy. It's kinda a great achievement for the game well, like this to actually be creepy. Just saying. I'm actually getting like a major, major anxiety in this area for some reason. Probably because there's no music here. It's like, it feels wrong. It feels wrong that there is no music. Not to mention, I just noticed something. So if we go here, you know, there's like some colors. But the closer, closer you get, to no. Wow, that's kind of creepy. I love it. See, see, I, I, I can say you know some nice things about this game. You know, like when this game does things right. You know, like I, I can say that you know it, it doing things right. See, I don't want to bitch about it. Eee! I don't want to bitch about the game, you know, just, the game is not exactly making it easy for me to not bitch about it. Okay. So, let's go visit our creepy animal-like friend. God damn it. Oh, wait! Tired. Tired. So he just, he just sat down and died. What, what a pathetic way to die. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Mm. 
Okay, let's go visit our creepy friend. Probably gonna be the last thing we will do today. Yep. Man. We have not visited this friend for so fucking long. But sadly, we have not made any progress today. No, you bitch! Mine. You shall serve me now as a... As a slave. Oh, seriously? No way. <laughs> This poison, I swear to God. Yeah, that's death. I'm sorry, but that's just that's just death. Oh, I can get soul. Okay. Yep, we can go to the creature here. I love how there's like thief and shit here. Hey man. Little squib, you may have overcome a few creatures, but you are just beginning. Don't delay, descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. Oh, I cannot do it. Oh. I wanted I wanted to hit him with my sword. Oh, hey. I have an idea. The shortcuts. I am so stupid. I am so stupid. There was such an easy way how to deal with that. Now, okay, I'm not as stupid as that guy. That guy is extra stupid. That guy, that guy makes me look smart. Okay. Start going to the left. Gonna need to go back to to this uh, to the town. Okay, so we did make some level of progress. We we killed the thing. I guess that's progress. Would you call that progress? Uh, I guess. I mean, we we are still lost. You know, we have no idea where to go. But hey, uh, at least I'm slowly getting money. But you need, you need so much money in this game. It's almost like people who made this game were capitalists, eh? <laughs> oh, you wish. Fuck off. Still no blacksmith. Still no city. Still no progress. This is a game of no progress. No progress allowed. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, and go up. But yeah, I seriously have no idea where to go at this point. I guess the mines, but we don't have a map there, so I don't know what I can do in the mine. Like, mines are probably not an option, really. Bitch, fucking piece of shit, cunt. 
Okay, you cannot dash through that because if you dash through that, you actually literally don't have enough time to get through. Okay, let's just go up. Oh wait, money. The dash, the dash is always either too far or not far enough. Like the only reason why I'm using it is because it actually kind of gives you like this speed buff. Which you know is pretty important in this game because there's like an infinite amount of backtracking. This this is actually like at this point this is like on par with MMORPGs, just how much backtracking is in this game. Can I actually go here? Was I never here? Just missed out on money. For no reason. Well, I had no choice there, sadly. Please, just let me go. Heal up. There's no reason to not heal up. Wait, but I hit him twice. Oh, now they have like random dead, you know, fucking HP. Hey, money. Okay, we need to go more, more up. Okay, you can hit more than one enemy with the same nail attack. Cool bugs do not look at explosions. Haha! Outsmarted, bitch! Yep. And here's the stack. Okay. Okay, so we got some money. Uh, we leveled up our HP, which is actually not that much of a big deal, because we still don't have enough uh, healing power. To heal more than 3 HP. So basically we have 9 HP. At the best possible time basically. Which is not gonna help us. Because like what we need is. Like shield. Or like some kind of ability to parry enemy attacks. And what we need is like double jump. Double jump would help so much in this game. I mean okay. So far I got everything I wanted. You know like. We got like, we got like wall jumping, you know, we got dash, you know, now, oh, okay, now what I want is flying or double jump. Piss him off. Let's anger him. But yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I have no idea where to go except for the mines and like I said, in the mines, there is nothing there. At least nothing that I can see, and the game is not giving me a fucking map. Good beer. So did anything change here? Anyone new here? Do you have anything to sell? Oh my god, do you have a, a map of the mines by any chance? No, Isolde, come on. You betrayed me. I needed the map. I needed it, man. Do you have a map by any chance?
What about the sim uh, simple key open button? It's really expensive though. Let's let's finish this by talking to the guy. Alona's greater capital is what most of you brave types come to see. Bring here to loot its treasures, I suppose. It must be brimming with them. It's right at the center of the kingdom, though I've heard the gates are sealed. Yeah, we've already, we've already read that. See, it would be cool if this guy would like point you in the right direction, but he's not really doing that at all. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Th that's the main problem with this game. Like it's super frustrating. Like ever, it, it it seems like developers of this game took a look at Metrovanias. You know, like uh, you know, Symphony of the Night, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrows, Order of Ecclesia. By the way, Order of Ecclesia is really good. Uh, you know, at like Super Metroid, you know. And they just said, you know what? You know all those things that make those games good? Let's ignore them. <laughs> yeah, that's really like what it feels with this game. Like every nice thing about those games, you know, like very exciting boss fights, uh, better boss fights, no less. Uh, a lot of upgrades, you know, like the continuous getting upgrades and like small upgrades that just matter a lot in the long run in this game you get thing you basically your upgrades are things that in other games you get by default and just even the dream nail it usually only gives you the same thing for every single enemy in the game which was like a one mechanic that i was really looking forward to i was like really looking forward to like I don't like getting to know like horrible dark secrets about everyone. But it's not really that. Like you learn something, but that's about it. So yeah, this has been Hollow Knight. Uh, we are, I'm not giving up on the game yet, but slowly I'm I'm losing interest. The game really has to like pull out something like Again, I do not want to hate this game. Like, this is all we know. And like, if I look around, I have no idea where should we go. Like, like okay, you may look at this and be like, Oh, hey, you know, it's obvious, you know, go to the right or go down. But all of these areas are locked. You know, you look at this and you are like, you know, go down or up. But, you know, both those are locked. You know, you look, you look at this and you are like, it's simple, just go south, but, you know, that's locked. Or, you know, simple, just go to the left, but both doors are locked. You know, over here, you know, like, you can look at these. And you are like, oh, hey, you know, it's obvious, you know, go down to the Mantis village. But, you know, the game literally told me that, you know, if I do not upgrade my weapons, then I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Which, you know, like, at this point I might as well go and try that, because what else am I gonna do? It just feels like... This game does not want you to play it. Like, I've played so many Metroidvanias, and I usually had a good time with most of them, even the bad ones. Because, like, usually they understand the one major principle, and that is, you know, like... The beauty of exploration and the fact that you don't have to like make the exploration really fucking annoying in order to, you know, for the player to stay. All you have to do is to make a very compelling game with, you know, like fun of exploration, you know, like fun of getting lost because you can actually get lost with a map, you know, like just place it in front of the night, you know, like you get lost so many times and you have a map all the, all the time, you know. Right at your fucking no noggin. <sighs> I don't know. It just feels like this game is like... 
one step forward with like the art and the music. It's like 10 steps backwards from uh, games like Order of Ecclesia or Symphony of the Night or Super Metroid. Like, I do not want them to, you know, do the same thing. I just want them to learn from them, not ignore them and do it wrong. But yeah. This has been Fingusa playing Hollow Knight. Next session might be the last one. I don't know. It sucks. It really does. I'm gonna love this game. I wanna love every Metroidvania. My fucking childhood. Yeah. Goodbye.